Hello, so in this demo, I will be talking about how to use CMDB and asset management in OTRS. So the agenda I would like to show is uh, how to use the standard CI classes in OTRS and secondly, how to create your own CI classes in OTRS. So when you install OTRS by default, there are five different CI class available. So you have computer, hardware, location, network and software. Under the CI classes, you have options. So on this computer, you can specify desktop, laptop, phone, server, and PDA. On the hardware, you can specify backup device, camera, docking station, keyboard, mouse, printers, routers, etc. Location, you can say building, floor, IT facility, office outlet, room, workspace. On the network, you can say LAN, WLAN, GSM, Telco. And on the software, you can specify what type of software it is. So let's look at the demo on how to use the standard CI classes. So you need to log in and be logged in as a config item manager. Make sure you have access to CMDB. So under CMDB, let's look at an overview. So this overview gives you a list of all the CI items. So here there are about total 57 items that has been defined. Let's create a new item using the existing CI classes. So I want to enter the information about a laptop. So it will be under the computer class. So the deployment state says whether this asset is in production, whether it is under maintenance or under repair or whether it is under test. So right now this is in production. Also there's an incident state field. The incident state says whether this asset is working normal. In that case, you say it's operational. If there are any issues or incidents around this asset, then you can change the incident state to uh, incident. So the vendor in this case is Acer. The model is 5738 and you can enter a small description in case you want it. Now the type pull down menu allows you to specify the type of the computer. So laptop in this case, you can pick an owner from the list of users who are registered as part of the OTRS set. You can specify serial numbers, you can specify operating system, you can specify the you know, CPU make model, RAM, hard disk brand and capacity. And you can also specify the network MAC ID or IP address. And you can say whether this is using DHCP or not. So I'm going to say no. And there are other fields you can specify. There's also a warranty expiration date for maintaining the warranties of the different assets in case you want them. Now if you hit submit, this should go back to your CMDB page. So now it's a summary of what you have done and it gives you the details of when this was created and who made the changes. So it has the information about the history of this particular asset. Now the cool thing is you can also link this particular CI item to any uh, other config item. So you can link a computer to a location if you want or to a particular network uh, provider to to a different piece of hardware or software or you can also link that config item to a ticket uh, if there's a ticket that needs attention so it's, in this sense OTR is very flexible so I will not I will not use this feature for now and let's go back to the demo that we want to continue so next uh, we will talk about how to create custom CI classes so OTR allows you to create your own CI class this is useful for extending the standard OTRS to specific industry requirements. So for example, the asset for a hospital will be different from the assets for uh, IT's uh, company. So that's where the custom CI class is very important. So what I'm going to do is uh, use an example where I want to create a smartphone CI class that will capture the details of the brand, the model, the telco operator, the IMEA number, a phone number of the user and accessories that come with the smartphone. So here we have to create some pull down menu options. So I'll be using uh, the brand as a pull down menu, Nokia, Samsung, Blackberry. 
uh, telco operators, Vodafone Airtel, and accessories as a pull-down menu. So for defining the pull-down menu, we will be using the concept of general catalog in OTRS. Let's look at the tool now. Okay. So make sure you are logged in as an admin. So you have to have access to the admin. So first of all, uh, we need to work with what is called as the general catalog to create the pull down menu options. So under the pull down menu options, I'm going to define a catalog called battery, charger, data, cable, etc. for the mobile accessories and uh, for the manufacturer brands, I'm going to specify a catalog called mobile phone manufacturers like the Apple, Blackberry and so on. So I can make modifications here in case I want to. And the last pull down is network operators. So here I'm going to have different network operators. Uh, you can add a network operator here, for example, AT&T. Right, so it will be part of the pull down menu now. So once the pull down menu items are defined, go back to admin. And now you need to add a new CI class called a smartphone. So go back to general catalog. And under general catalog, there is a a class called config item class. So this is where you can uh, add new CI classes. So specify the CI class. So name here is smart phone. Permissions to what users are you giving to permissions to look at this. So let's right now keep it as uh, admin okay so you can also define different groups who can look at this particular config item or maybe let's change that and say anybody who can look at config item can look at the entire uh, class so let's submit that so you'll see an entry called smartphone now the next step to do is go back to admin and add a config item so when you look at the config item it specifies the item classes here you have smartphone but now we have not really defined what is inside the smartphone so you need to go to this menu here at the left pick smartphone as your config item and change the class definition so right now the definition of the class is completely empty so that means OTRS doesn't know what a smartphone is so this is where you need to have a little bit of uh, coding um, experience so what you need to do is prepare the definition of this CI uh, class using uh, backend coding and you need to refer to the admin guide of OTRS to know how to do that in case you're not able to do that you can contact our team so what we are going to do is write the code for the different options that you want to see inside uh, the smartphone so this is a complete code that we have written this takes some time so this ready-made code that I am showing here so let's just copy paste that and put it inside here just make sure this is all okay and submit and let's see if that works so now I've defined what a smartphone is by using the code and created my own custom class now let me go back to CMDB and here I should be able to look at the overview. So now under the overview you see there is a another entry called smartphone which is new. This is a new CI class that I created. Now let me enter a CI item. right? So I'm going to enter the details of my smartphone by choosing the smartphone. So now what you see here is based on the code that you just saw you have a lot of new fields so you have the detail about the model you have serial number you are the owner there's a pull down for manufacturer there's a mobile number IME number accessories all of them has been uh, created here based on your code so let me say my smartphone employment mode is now in production operational and let's say the manufacturer is um, LG model is Nexus 4 owner is uh, 
Suresh and enter the serial number which you might need and if there's a MAC ID you can enter the MAC ID also and so on. You can also choose the network operator AT&T and the mobile number of the user so I'm going to enter the mobile number and an IME number which a lot of companies want to track for security reasons. If there's an accessory that has been provided to the user, you can add that. So maybe you gave a battery. If there are more accessories you can keep, you can add. A battery and a charger. Submit. So here you want a serial number. You can make that compulsory or optional. So once you're done now, you can see that in your overall asset database. So this one smartphone, so this is your smartphone that you just entered. And the good thing is you can always link to this to an existing ticket or other parts of your uh, OTRS. So let's look at an example. So here the user has filed a ticket saying can we upgrade my mobile. So let me look at that ticket. So this file by the uh, owner of the smartphone and what I want to do now is link this ticket to my smartphone. So here I need the config item number of that person. So what I need to do is now kind of go back. Uh, I need to look at the config item number. So this is the number. So let me copy copy that and go back to the ticketing dashboard so I'm going to take that and link to the smartphone configure item number enter everything else is so here the, that's an incident or op, sorry operational so this okay so once you do that you are going to get this item so select and there's a link so required or depends on so let's say for upgrading that you need the assets so that's a well let, let me change that depends on so add that link so now you know that the ticket that has been filed is dependent on this particular piece of asset or hardware so that's one of the things you can do here let's close the window and go back here now what happens is at the bottom of the screen you now see a new field which says this particular ticket is linked to this config item so you know now that okay now whenever you need to resolve the ticket then you need to take care of this config item so you can also look at this both ways so let's look at the config item the other screen so when I click on the config item screen that at the bottom it shows that there is a ticket or incident that is created and linked to this particular asset so anytime there are issues or upgrades happening on the asset uh, OTRS gives you a history of all the changes that are made to that asset. So it's also a very powerful feature which is uh, useful for uh, IT help desk and ITSM. So there are many more things which we can do with the asset management CMDB. So I want to uh, postpone that for a different uh, tutorial or a video if required. But for now that's all I have for this short video on CMDB and asset management using OTRS. Thank you.